Hey y'all, what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I'm giving you Chung Lee like bitch I been on, bitch you been con, Bentley Tents on, Fendi Prince on. But I'm not giving you Fendi Prince. I'm giving you this like little thrifty shirt that I got at the thrift store. It's cute though, right? It's giving me Chung Lee vibes. I put the two sticks in my button just to pop shit. I just kind of wanted to do like a little story time for you guys because, you know, some of you, I may be bringing light to this situation, but some of you may or may not be aware that, you know, I ran down on somebody. And, you know, I just wanted to, like, clear the air, let y'all know what happened, wash my hands a bit, and be done with it. And let me make this clear. I don't know what's this rumor going around that this happened at BeautyCon. This happened nowhere near BeautyCon. I would never do something stupid like that at BeautyCon. Like, that's so ridiculous and dumb. I would never do that. So, I don't know where that rumor is going around, but okay. But, you know, I wanted to do a video because you guys been asking and like, why not? You know, since this person that I'm about to talk about did so many videos about me, why can't I just do one video? <laughs> why, why not? This is going to be like literally a long story short. Like, I'm not going to go into depth about everything that happened and and like where it started and where actually I should but I'm not gonna go into too much depth I'm gonna try to make a long story short right so boom let me tell y'all basically long story short oh my god y'all I'm about to get in my bag so let me tell y'all long story short long story short nah it's not gonna be a long story short anyway let me get to the point so boom the way the all right so me and this other boy have beef i guess or whatever like it was never beef with me the boy just like he wanted to fight me and and he used to say like oh he's gonna catch a flight to beat me up and um he really would drag me by my hair and all this crazy stuff mind you i never said i wanted to fight this boy i never like you know talked crazy to this boy like bitch i will fuck you up or none of that i never did none of that but you see i'm a type of person that i'm really like that and i don't need to tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do like but anyway so boom long story short the way the um beef started with me and this boy i guess you could say was um Oh, <sighs> okay. He came to New York for, you know, something that he had going on. I forgot what it was. Whatever. He had something going on or whatever. We were, like, internet friends. So, we were like, you know what? We need a link. Like, oh, my God. You know, we kind of do the same things on YouTube. And, you know, our personalities would just match, whatever the case may be. And not for nothing, I really feel like he what If this situation didn't happen, we would be mad cool. Because we really got along. Like, you know, like, how you meet somebody and you're, like, cordial with them. So, you're like, oh, hi, you know. And y'all, like, cool. Like, y'all cool for what it is. But, no, me and this boy, like, we really was dumb cool. Like, even though we only met those three days, like, we vibed. Like, he was actually really cool. But, whatever. So, um, he had came to New York, whatever the case may be, boom. He came, he flew this other boy out. I guess the boy that he had a crush on, whatever the case may be, boom. I met all of them at the same time. So, you know, it's just little on me by myself. You know, it's my city. I'm like, oh, like, yo, let me show y'all around, blah, 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 whatever the case may be, boom. I come, I meet everybody, everybody's really cool, the boy is just really cool, the boy that I had beef with, I'm gonna call him Barney, cause that's, like, how he's shaped, like, Barney, so, boom, so, you know, um, Barney's just mad cool, like, we just, we just hitting it off, mad cool, whatever the case may be, boom, boom, so, long story short, the boy ends up having a crush on me, and I guess, Barney liked the boy, but Barney told me like that was his friend. Regardless, it didn't matter because I didn't want that boy. But it was like, Barney was like, oh no, that's my friend, girl. That's my friend. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then the boy kept on feeling on me. So it's like, uh, this is obviously not your boo. Because one, he's trying to like talk to me while you're here. And two, you're telling me that y'all just friends. So whatever. Even though I don't want this boy. Keep that in mind. I do not want this boy. But anyway, long story short. You know, we end up getting really drunk. We end up in the same bed together, me and the other boy. And then Barney and one of my old other friends was in, like, the other bed or whatever. So, um, I wake up the next morning and I'm like, what's the problem? Like, are you okay? To Barney. And he's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm like, you sure? Like, talk to me if you're not fine. Like, let me know what's going on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, I'm fine, whatever the case may be, blah, blah, blah. I was feeling a funny vibe, so I kind of, like, left. And... Barney was telling me, like, oh, come back the next day. Like, yo, come back, come back, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to come back. Now, actually, I didn't even respond back because I just didn't feel like 
being around weird energy, like, I felt like his energy was really weird towards me. So I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna go back, whatever the case may be, boom. We all leave on good terms. He ends up telling me that he did feel away about, like, you know, the boy flirting with me and stuff like that. And he goes on to tell me, this is after everybody leaves. So the boy lives in another state. Barney lived in another state at the time. So whatever the case may be. So he ends up telling me that the boy told him that he smashed me. So I'm like... Hold on. I'm like, you smashed me. So I was like, what's his number? Got his number, text him. I'm like, yo, you telling niggas you smashed me? At the time, he was like cool with the with Barney. So they kind of like did this thing where they like kind of ganged up on me kind of. And they were making like all these YouTube videos. All these lies about me. Like how I slept with the boy in the bed and he smashed me. And I was just like, okay. Like, you know, I'm content with myself to know that like, was true is true and was false is false. It just upsetting me that this is the like perception of me that you're giving your audience that you know I slept with this boy. I didn't sleep with this boy. You know I didn't sleep with this boy. Like I literally slept with the boy, but I didn't sleep with the boy. That boy's penis did not go in me. Okay, so why would you? Why would you, first of all? Why would you sit there and false claim on your dick? And then. You, why would you sit there and entertain that? Like, I, I just didn't understand. And it was just, like, this big story made up or whatever. And, um, story times was made about me. I was called those types of hoes and stuff like that. I'm just giving y'all, like, the rundown. For most of you guys who know what I'm talking about, y'all know I'm dead ass saying, like, the watered down version of everything that happened. But it's just basically, like, the main points of what happened. Um, you know, like I said, videos was made about me. I was getting bashed left and right. Like, it was ridiculous. I was, like, getting a whole bunch of hate comments. It was just really bad. And I just remember, like, calling my best friend and telling my best friend how frustrated I was about it. And I'm like, yo, what am I going to do? Like, should I make a video? But no, that's mad ugly. Like, I can't make a video. Like, I can't stoop down to their level. Like, but what am I going to do? Because I can't let this pass, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I, I was, like, the bigger person. But my best friend seen how upset I was. If I'm talking with a list, y'all, I'm sorry. I have my girls in, but anyway, so, um, my best friend see, seen how upset I was, and, you know, she goes to Twitter and starts, you know, like, kind of defending me, and she's like, you know what, don't believe, like, these fake YouTubers story times or whatever, because people do a lot of things for views, and blah, 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 whatever the case may be, boom, 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 this boy, okay, Barney, this boy, Barney that I'm talking about, gets on fucking Snapchat, and when I'm telling y'all, like, Where's my phone? It's charging, but I'm going to let my phone charge. But let me tell you, this boy gets on Snapchat and is screaming at his phone. When I tell you, like, screaming, like, Justin Marcus, you a ass bitch. Like, going crazy. Like, watch when I come to New York. I'm going to beat you up. Screaming at his phone. Y'all talking crazy. Mad because... This is, okay, so this is why he's mad, y'all. Because my best friend has a bigger platform than me, so he felt like I went to her to bash him because her platform is bigger. You see how, like, demented that sounds? I guess it sounds so demented to me because I'm really like that. I don't need to play these games. If I'm gonna come for you, I'm gonna come for you, and I'm gonna come for you for real, for real. Like, it's not gonna be on some little, like, shady, like, oh, my God, we're gonna Twitter shade each other. No, I'm going to come for you, my nigga. So, like, when he was saying all that and calling me all types of pussies and, and said that, like, I needed my friend with a bigger flat platform to come at him, I really laugh because I'm like, you don't know how I really act. Like, you really think that this is how, like, it was just crazy to me. Like, this is how wrapped up and like social media you are this is how disconnected from reality you are that you think that i have to go to somebody else to come at you like granted you don't know me but it's like it's like is this the age we living in now like am i lost like am i confused like you think that if i wanted to come at you i have to maneuver myself through a girl number one and number two somebody else to get to you, like, if I really wanted to, I really could have. When he started doing all those shows and started calling me all these crazy names, he was calling me saying that he wanted to fight me, he can't wait to fight me, he's gonna catch a flight to New York to beat me up, he's gonna drag me by my hair, oh my god, he cannot wait, blah, 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 blah. 
he did all that because I didn't say much. Like, I really didn't say much. You know, I, I did say a little one-two on Twitter because, you know, I just felt like enough was enough. Like, this was literally going on for, like, a month and a half of him just, like, literally bashing me, me being, like, his storyline for, like, a month and a half. And, like, it was just, like, a, a bunch of bashing, a bunch of bashing. And I always told myself, like, I'm gonna let him have this. Like, I'm gonna literally let him have this social media shit because me, I'm a type of person, I didn't get, like, popular on YouTube trying to be somebody that I'm not. I didn't get popular on YouTube being in drama. I didn't get popular on YouTube, you know, trying to fight people and da That's his shtick. Like, that's what he does. That's what he did to get where he is at or whatever. So it's like, I told myself, I'm gonna let him have this. But when it comes to my turn, when I get my turn, he's gonna feel me. Like, you, this is what you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have this social media, this, you can have it, you can have all the bashing, all the hate comments that I'm getting, you could get your life from other gay boys that were supporting him, other gay boys with their own platforms were like supporting him, you know, people was in his comments, and like, everybody knew it was about me, but like, other influencers were in his comments, like, oh my god, bitch, like, da -da -da. like, I remember seeing like a lot of bigger YouTubers, under the comments and I just was like home really sad like honestly like all jokes aside all tough shit aside I was really sad because it's like it's a lie and then on top of that like these people don't even know me and then the first thing that they gotta hear about me is from somebody else and how I'm this that and a third and and it just made me really upset like it just really upset me but like I said I told myself I always told myself like he could have this but I'm gonna get Mons. Like, I'm gonna get Mons, you feel me? So, this is what happened, right? So, you know, um, he flies into New York. I didn't know he was in New York at all. Like, I literally did not know he was in New York. So, you know, I go out or whatever. And, um, it was one night in New York. I go out, whatever. I'm looking super cute. I got my heels on. Yo, I'm looking dumb cute. Like, I go out and um, the party's coming to a close and I see him come in. If you guys were following the drama from like before when he was making his videos, um, you guys know like this was literally like a year and a half ago. So I seen him and like I started battling these demons now. It was literally like I had an angel and a devil. And I told myself, I said, what am I going to do? I said, what am I going to do? Am I going to like block my blessings by giving him this negative energy right now and like really like going there and like you know I could just walk away I could just be the big person you know whatever whatever you know all that all that jazz or am I gonna really like not let him get away with this like am I really like gonna be like yo like what happened like, what, like, at least that, at least be like, yo, so what happened? Like, you know, I'm not trying to fight you, but like, what, what, what was all the things that you were saying? Like, tell me now, because you know, you're not screaming at your phone no more. Now I'm here. So I'm battling that demon right now. I'm like, yo, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I go to, my friend already noticed he, so she comes to me, she like, yo, like, da -da -da. I'm like, bitch, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't be, I cannot go backwards. Like, I'm, I'm really trying. Like, it sounds so corny to say, y'all, but I'm really trying to change. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I have changed for the better already. But I'm like, yo, I cannot leave here without not at least talking to him. Like, I literally wanted, like, I told myself, all right, I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to fight him. Like, you know, I'm not going to fight nobody no more. You know, I'm, I can learn how to get my point across without my fist especially me i'm very literary i'm very like articulate with my words i know how to get across by using words i don't have to fight the only reason why i said like yo i want to fight is because you brought that energy to me i never once told you like i want to fight you i want to do this i want to do that even after all the videos you made after all the videos you made about me i still didn't say like yo i want to fight i took the higher road and was like you know what i'm gonna pay it like i'm gonna pay it once you seen that like my best friend came to like defend me you started bringing that energy to me and for me it was like we could have always fought like don't like don't try to make it seem now like you know don't take advantage now don't take my kindness for weakness now don't try to scream at your phone like oh you pussy this that bird third bitch ass nigga you can't defend yourself da -da -da -da. because i'm quiet right now don't we could have always fought that was never an issue if you wanted to do that we could have bended that like come on now so you know that was like the only reason why i really like 
was stressing the issue in my head like yo should i really fight him right now like should i really do that but whatever you know i dropped the fighting thing i said you know what i'm not gonna fight him i have heels on like come on like so boom so i, I walk outside he's outside and i'm contemplating to myself i'm like damn if i go up to him and i try to talk to him and he turns it around and you know gives me a harsh energy I'm, I'm gonna kind of regret it because it's like, I'm not gonna argue with you. We did enough arguing online. We did enough like, you know, little shady shit online. So, it's just gonna straight up be like, do you wanna fight me? Because I'm not gonna sit there and have a shouty match with you. That's, that's dumb, I'm not doing that. So, I, you know what, I said just, I told it to myself, I said Justin, go in there with the clearest mind possible. Go in there trying to resolve it. Like, don't fake it and be like, hey, can I talk to you? So, what's the problem? Like, go in there and listen to him. Listen to what he has to say. Listen to, like, try to, like, see where he came from. Like, you know, just try to resolve it. Because I felt like that would be satisfying both ends of the spectrum. That would be satisfying my, like, my need to want to go up to him and talk to him and be like, rah, 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 rah. And then that would also satisfy my need of, like, being the bigger person and walking away but still talking to him and still trying to like get my point across or whatever and hearing his point you know i felt like going to him and just having a conversation with him would like would be closure for both parts for me you know but you know that never works out the way you planned it to be so i woke up to him and i said and my heels y'all mind you i have heels y'all think i'm really gonna fight in heels come on I said i am so sorry y'all my bun my two sticks in my bun is coming out. So, I woke up to him, right? And I'm like, hey, can I talk to you? And he's like, no, first first I said, hey. And he's like, hey. And I'm like, can I talk to you really fast? And he's like, talk to me about what? So I'm like, okay, we gonna do this now. Like, you know, like just, we just gonna be funny now. Okay, whatever. So I'm like, you know, just talking to you about everything that happened, you know, like, everything, like, online and stuff like that. Like, I just really want to talk to you. He's like, what happened online? So, I'm like, all right, you playing with me now. But still, so now you testing me already. You testing me already. Like, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm trying to be mature here. If you didn't want to talk to me, you could have just said no. You see, that's that's what I'm saying. But don't sit there and, and try to play games with me, especially that you're already in hot water with me. So, he like, um, so what happened online? And I'm just like, I'm like, Barney, really, like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you know, everything that's online. Like, I'm really not trying to be funny. Like, I just really want to talk to you. He's like, I don't know, because I really feel like you're trying to be funny right now. And I don't know. Like, basically scary. Like, thinking that I'm going to pop on him. So, I, I told him, I'm like, Barney, like, I'm really not trying to fight you. Like, if that's what you're worried about, I'm not trying to fight you. Like, I'm literally trying to talk to you. So, like, he seemed like, you know, I was really serious. And he was like, okay, let's talk. So, I'm like, yeah, let's go in private. Bro. Like, let's go in private. And not to be like, let's go in private so I can fuck you up. But, like, let's go in private because I, when I went up to him, he was with two other people. And, I, you know, I just didn't want to be, like, I didn't want other people's opinions. And, you know, that could get real messy. And, and you know, just, it, it was just unnecessary. So, I was just like, you know, let's just go to the side. He go, he go, where we going? Like, my nigga, we going right here. Like, I'm not bringing you into a back alley. Like, relax, ma. Like, he was really shook. Like, and that, that like, even brought it to me more into not wanting to fight him. Because I'm like, first of all, I'm not going to fight nobody that don't want to fight me. Like, come on. So, like, whatever. But at the same time, I'm going to remember all the things that you said in the past. Like, you think you're going to say those things and get away with it? Not really. Like, you should be lucky that I'm coming to you grown and being like, yo, like, Let's talk for real, like, you know, man to man, like, what's up? Like, you know, how did you feel? Because this is how I felt. And if we agree to disagree, then that's what it was. So, we go to the side or whatever, and we start talking. And I'm just like, hey, like, I just want to know where everything came from. Like, you know, all the lies that you told with, like, this other boy, even though you and the other boy is not cool anymore. Like, I just want to know, like, what's going on? Like, where did you come from? And he's like, what are you talking about? So I'm like, oh my god. Like, I felt like Twilight Zone because it's like nobody here with me. It's just us two. And he's really playing that card right now. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you was, you talked about me in all these videos. So then he cut me off. And he was like, oh, you mean the videos that were two years ago? So I'm like, it wasn't two years ago. 
but even if it was five years ago, this is my first time seeing you since it happened. So it's not like I seen you and then I paid it no mind and then I seen you again, I paid it no mind and then the third time I see you, I brought it to your attention. This is my first time seeing you since it happened. So it could have been one, two, three, four, five years ago. I'm just asking you what happened because this is my first time seeing you since then. So he's sitting there, he's just looking at me, he's like, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. He's like, um, for me it was so long ago, and I'm like, but you're always talking about me. Like, why do you still to this day talk about me? And he's like, I don't talk about you to this day. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, that situation, let it aside. I got featured on a BC article, which I'm super, super, super proud of, okay? I didn't let nobody take that moment from me because, all right, just a little inside tea for you guys. Beauty boys in the community do not support anything I do. Like, literally, like, I get the most... I feel like I get the most hate in the beauty community when it comes to gay boys. I honestly don't know why I get a lot of hate in the beauty community when it comes to gay boys. I get a lot of hate when it comes to gay boys in general. But, like, beauty boys just don't support me. They just think I'm undeserving. I don't know why. I really don't care, though, because when I got that BT feature, I was so happy. That was, like, huge for me. Like, and I wasn't gonna let nobody take it away. Of course, Barney went on Twitter and was talking about how I was so undeserving and, and you know, I'm not even black. I shouldn't even be featured on BET and it's so many more deserving boys of color that, that could be on this article and blah, 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 blah. Like really trying to like tear me down once again. And this was, yeah, you guys know if you guys follow me on Instagram that that BET article was recent. Like it was like last month. I started telling him about that. I'm like, okay, so, you know, you were just basically like trying to bring me down and telling me that there's people more deserving than me and and I don't deserve it so then he cuts me off again he's cutting me off now like literally we're not having a conversation he's trying to argue me now so he cuts me off again and he's like well I wasn't talking about you I was talking about BT I'm like okay but you're talking about BT featuring me you wasn't talking about BT featuring any of the other two boys like you were talking about BT featuring me and honestly I was over our drama I even posted him on my Instagram like it's a picture of all four of us on my Instagram you think if I really had beef with you I would be posting you on my Instagram like no like I I don't know I was over it but like in this conversation I didn't want to argue with him because I'm not having a shouting match with you because we could have we did enough of that. It's either we gonna fight or we gonna talk. So like, pick one. So I'm like, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to say a sentence. And he's like, do you have, do you? And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, stop right now. I'm like, stop, stop doing that right now. He's like, do you have two predominantly black parents? And I'm like, just like that too, with that energy. Mind you, I'm trying to talk to him nice. He comes with this energy like, do you have two predominantly black parents? So I'm like... I'm like, no, but my father is Dominican and he's darker than you. And like, in the midst of me saying that, he said, like I said, do you have... So I'm like, hold, now you're getting me nervous. Now my nerves is getting bad now. So he's trying to like talk over me and now he's getting this energy, like this fighting energy. So I'm like, whoa, 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 do you want to fight me? Yes or no? Because I'm trying to talk to you and you're trying to fight me. So do you want to fight me? He's like, you, you still mad about stuff two years ago? Ah, you still mad? I'm like, this is my first time seeing you though, but I'm asking, do you want to fight me? Like, I don't care about none of that other stuff. Do you want to fight me? Oh, you need to see new up places. Like, you need to see new places. I've been seeing new places. Well, you've been evicted a couple times, so I'm pretty sure you've seen a couple of new places. But that's not my question to you. Do you want to fight me? He's, so he, do, he does one of these. Like, he goes like, bitch! And like, he like... He like drops something on the floor or like goes to like, I don't know if he wants to take off his shoes or something, but all I heard was bitch like, and I said, what? I said, oh, it's on and popping. I went, I took my heels off and I went to the car and I said, what happened to trying to fight me? What happened to catching a flight to fight me? What happened to all that? If I really wanted to hit him, I could have, but I wasn't going to hit nobody that didn't want to fight. You know, that's when I started giving like, oh, what happened to catching a flight to fight me? What happened to catching a flight to fight me? Like, I never told you I wanted to fight you, but you had this all this energy. Oh, it was two years ago. Okay, it was two years ago, but you're still having that energy right now with me. So, like, what are you... I'm trying to talk to you, and you're trying to be funny. You're trying to, like... I don't know if I intimidate you that you have to feel like you need to big yourself up. Like, you need to, like... You need to shade me right now because I'm trying to have like a equal conversation with you right now. Like I'm not trying to talk to you. 
I'm not trying to talk to you as if I'm higher than you or you're lower than me or like whatever it is but like I don't know why you feel the need to like be on attack mode right now because I'm just talking to you like so you know that's when I started giving all that and he tried to like do a little swing like it was so funny because I'm that's when I was like you I wish you would like I wish you would swing on me like he had a little girl in front of him a little girl, if you wanted to swing on me, you would have swung on me. Like, come on. Like, so that's when, like, I reached over into the car. I said, I wish you would. And I ripped his shirt out. And I was like, ah, like, I threw it back at him. And I'm like, yeah, what happened? What happened now to catching a flight? I kept saying that over and over because one of the things he was saying in the videos was like, I will catch a flight to beat you up. I'm going to catch a flight to beat you up. Watch when I come to New York. Watch. And I'm like. Alright, that whole beef, I didn't say nothing about it. It sucks that it has to be that way because I wish we could have moved past it. I wish we could have at least been cordial. But I just don't like the the way it's perceived right now. That's kind of my fault because everybody's just like, Oh my God, you attacked him. Oh my God, like you're the bad guy. Oh, he's sitting so pretty. He has brands to protect. This, go this guy goes on YouTube and talks about everybody. He has beef with people and talks about them. That's how he comes up. What brand? What brand? You tell me what brand. Like, I'm not going to try to downplay. Like, I don't know the things he's done. I'm pretty sure he's worked with companies and stuff like that. Whatever it is, I don't know what he's done. But don't try to, like, make it seem like I'm the bad guy and you brought all this energy to me. Like... I hate passive-aggressive people. Like, don't be passive-aggressive. And then when you feel the real energy, now all of a sudden it's like, oh my god. Like, you know, if I really wanted to, I really would hit him. I didn't hit him at all. I didn't even touch him. But if I really wanted to hit him, I could have. But it was just like, you try to fight me. You dropped your stuff first. You started arguing with me. I tried to talk to you. You started arguing with me. Then I'm asking you, like, so what happened? And then you drop your stuff, like, tough. Then you get, now you get in a cab, and I was like, oh my god, now you see I'm with the shits, and I was like, oh my god, like, oh my god, no, no, like, get out of here with all that, I do not care what nobody say, I, I don't know, I'm from a different breed, I guess, I, I, I just give it different, but I wash my hands with it, I'm done, and like I said, I don't know where this rumor came, but that happened at BeautyCon, I would never do that at no fucking BeautyCon, like, that happened before BeautyCon. But I hope you guys enjoyed my story time. If you guys support me, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, it's hard finding support sometimes, you know. Especially when you're up against people who have bigger platforms than you. So you're just like, you get a lot of hate. I've been dealing with a lot of hate, but whatever. It comes with the territory, right? I'm still on fleek. I'm still cute. And yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.